Hey guys, RC here, back with Season 8, Episode 2, Draft Day Sports Pro Football 20. Don't forget, hit that like button and leave a comment to register for the game giveaway. We're giving away a free copy of this game. Uh, we started it a couple of weeks ago, and we will go all the way up to Christmas Eve, uh, December 24th, 2019. Just on the off chance somebody watches this like in, you know, 2036 or something. The game's already given away at that point. Uh, all right, so here is the retirings. We uh, kind of peeked in on that. Uh, Amari Cooper stunned us with retiring. Zach Martin is retired, as did Robert Quinn and Jonathan Williams. Here's our new uh, free agent signing. So we want to take a look at the depth chart and see where these guys fit in. So uh, Temple will be our number three receiver. And Foray, we drafted him this year. He'll be our number four receiver. Uh, Jerry Green at guard is going to be our new starter at left guard. Uh, Miguel Vance uh, is going to be our new number one receiver replacing Amari Cooper. Gregory, uh, let's see, anybody else? Harold Fields uh, not cracking the starting lineup, not cracking the depth chart uh, for running back. And if we switch over to the defense, uh, we had uh, Gregory Reynolds at defensive end. Uh, he will be our number primary backup, and Lee McCrary uh, will be our number three on the depth chart with uh, new draftee Pimentel. Was that uh, Josh Pimentel? I think that was right. Anyway, that's, uh, that is our depth chart. Taking a quick look at some other news, uh, we've got uh, linebacker uh, Clarence Amos, second-year uh, linebacker, First round draft pick. He's questionable with a fractured cheekbone from the preseason. A couple of guys uh, with fatigue that are probable or questionable. Otherwise, uh, in the depth chart, we've got uh, Prescott still at number one. Uh, Watt will be our new starting running back. Uh, Ship still in there at number two. Oliphant. McDowell. Where did he come from? I don't remember. Tackle, McDowell. Oh, he's a rookie. That was our first round pick this year. That's right. So he's uh, our new starting left tackle. We've got a rookie out there. Uh, Green, wasn't he a, uh, he's a third year pro. Uh, Flores, Lewis at uh, right guard. How long has he been in the league? Four years. And uh, Tyrone, Ty, uh, Tyron Smith. I was thinking Tyrone, but it, it's not. It's Tyron Smith. He's still over at right tackle. Lyle Collins gets booted down to backup. Uh, we do have a couple of these guys on the trade block, so we'll see if that pops up. And we are picked with 10 votes to win the NFC East. Washington has been picked with eight votes, so it could be a close battle, uh, but we will see. So, let's get into it. Can we do better than last year? Also, real quick, I had put up um, at the end of last season, we talked about getting fired. Uh, so, I had posed the question to the guys over at Wolverine, if you could get fired. And the response was, I want to read it out right and make sure you guys get the right answer. Uh, so, bear with me. Let me pull it up. Notifications. All right, so uh, they said, sorry, uh, yes, as long as you're not in sandbox mode or multiplayer mode, uh, you can be fired. So I guess we got lucky. So we've got to really step our game up or we could be in trouble this year. That would be one thing that would be interesting to kind of show like a hot seat or, you know, like football manager does where you have like a percentage of, uh, you know, board satisfaction or owner satisfaction. That would be kind of interesting. But let's get into this. We are in week one. We open at home. Big D against the Eagles. Don't like the Eagles. Cowboys have too many players. Yes, we forgot to uh, forgot to address that. We have 55 players. Let's do auto-adjust roster. Halsey, Alderman, and McCrary all head over to the practice squad. So let's go back to depth chart. And we will want to readjust all that. So we've only got, uh, well, no, we have two tight ends. That's good. All right. 
right, offense, defensive coordinator, set us up, thank you. And special teams, I'll let the head coach do that. We'll save that. And then we'll get back to it. All right, so simulate the week again. Boom. All right, how did we do? Oh, we drubbed them 34 to 6, 14 points in the fourth quarter. Just blew them off the field. Prescott with 247 yards, two touchdowns. Miguel Vance, the rookie, first touchdown of the season. It put us up 7 0. Boswell with a couple of first half field goals. Prescott to his old standby, Randy Ship. Uh, newcomer Micah Temple, that was our draft pick this year. Miguel Vance was the free agent, my bad. Uh, Temple, Ship with a second touchdown. Uh, Reuter and Oaks, both with touchdowns coming off the bench. Very nice. Six of six for Oaks, one for one for Reuter. Prescott, 20 of 31. Watts, 2.4 yards a carry. Not so good. Oliphant led the team in receiving six catches, 83 yards. Vance, the new number one receiver, free agent, six for 82 and a score. Nice. Very balanced passing attack. I'm pretty disappointed with the running game, though. Golly, that's killing us. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. Ruder and Oaks got a little bit better at passing. We did dial back the training from uh, training camp, spring training. Uh, let's see, any news? I need to get in the habit of doing that. All right, Harold Fields. Oh, no. Eight to 12 weeks. And Gathers. Oh, that's not good. Gathers a torn ACL and Fields a broken leg. Ow. All right, so running back Fields. The other guy is a strong safety. Fields is the one that we signed as a free agent, so I don't know how he got hurt, but so be it. He wasn't in our depth chart. And the other one was a strong safety. Gathers, that's our starter. Oh. So that's going to bring rookie Josh Pimentel into the starting lineup, I believe. Yeah. Fourth round pick this year. Or do we go with, uh, well, Keel is there. Keel was undrafted. Eight to 12 weeks. So if we put them on the IR, they're done for the year. Right? Um, let's, let's check that. So I do have a couple of strong safeties. So if I put him on the injured reserve for the rest of the season. Um, hmm. All right. They didn't move them. They did not move the injured guys. All right. So we'll leave them on the roster. If we have another injury, we'll have to probably move somebody around to bring in one of these guys. And we were already pretty solid at running back. We had four. We only needed three. So he's, he's not a big loss. Eight to 12 weeks. Could be back mid-season. We'll see. So we'll just roll with that. All right, week two, uh, we travel to Washington. This could be a crucial matchup. Remember, they're supposed to be the one club that uh, can contend with us this year. Oh, 37 to 6. We just destroyed them. That's a, nothing, nothing feels better than just crushing the Redskins, doesn't it? Gerald Watt, a one yard run, a two yard run for Watt. First two scores of the game. Boswell kept uh, the skins in it there, or added to us. Hopkins with the only first half points for Washington. Prescott to Vance again, and then we got a pick six by Anthony Brown. Great job. 22 of 26. That's a hell of a game for Prescott. Watt, 1.2 yards a carry. I'm not feeling the running game, fellas. All right, so if you have any tips on the running game, let me know. We've got, I mean, we've been drafting run blockers at center and guard and pass blockers at tackle. So I think we've been doing everything we can. Man, that's just brutally horrible. 
1.2 yards a carry. Uh, we do have a trade offer from Jacksonville. Let's go see what that's about. So we'll go to the trade screen. All right, they want Tyron Smith. Uh, they want to trade us another tackle and a seventh round pick. Unless Josh Wells is like really good. All right, let's go. Let's delay. Josh Wells. Jacksonville. I guess that's how you could look. You could look and see who they have on the trade block. They don't have a tackle on the uh, Josh Wells. Can I see you? I cannot see you. All right, well, let's head over to the American League, Jaguars, roster, tackle, Wells. So, low, it, his strength isn't great. He's 35, yeah. If he's the key cog in this trade, I don't want him. Uh, so no, we're gonna we're gonna reject that trade. All right, let's go back to Dallas. There. All right, trade screen again. Uh, we're gonna reject that trade. See, I wish it would say what they what they felt they needed, right? without having to go through every freaking team. Gee whiz. I mean, you know, because right now we have, we'd have to actually s click to the next team, scroll down to tackles. They've got a whole bunch. All right, the Bengals, they've got four. Eh, could I trade? Could we trade him for a first-round pick? Oh, it's not even offering the trade. Okay, so see, I don't even know if you could do that. Shouldn't put us over the salary cap. No, okay, it puts them under. Uh, it puts them over. I wonder if they would have to make an AI move at that point. But they should have to have the option to re uh, accept or reject that trade, right? That's why I usually just sit here and I let the let the game kind of bring trades to me. Yeah, we're just gonna keep doing that. All right, we're going to delete that. All right, news. All right, no other news here. Pritchett has a bulging disc in his back. He'll be out two to four weeks. So that's the injury list. Oh, you hear my granddaughter? She's our cheering section this week. She's happy we're 2-0. and oh. Yes, 2-0. <laughs> All right, we're playing the Panthers back home, back at home. And, and, whoo, a narrow win. 14 points, so we must have had to have come back for that one. Jalen Smith, player of the game on defense. Gary Connors for the Panthers on the offense. Prescott to ship. Connors with a couple of first half touchdowns. And, uh, yeah, they really uh, controlled it, 24-7. to seven. Gerald Watt for five yards. Foray picks up his first touchdown. Uh, one of our draft picks at wide receiver this year made it 24-21. And Max Ellsworth, a uh, name we don't see too often with his first touchdown, 553 left in the game, 14 unanswered points, actually 20, 21 unanswered points, and we get the come-from-behind win. Look at Vance. Eight catches, 125 yards. Very nice. Three and a half yards of carry and nine yards of carry. Maybe I ought to make him my starter. We'll have to consider that. All right. We'll play the Giants this week. Any more news on the books? No new information here. Oh, McDowell, torn bicep. He'll be out two to four weeks. So it's weird that we have injuries, but they're not added into the team news. I don't understand that, but that's all right, I suppose. All right, this is a big one against the Giants. 
they seem to own us, man. They seem to just step up and, and take it to us here. Three interceptions for Prescott in the loss. That's disappointing. Daniel Jones, uh, Pimentel, a pick six for our strong safety draft pick. Put us on the board. Uh, then we got a Benjamin O'Connor 88-yard punt return. Is that us? That's not us. That's them. That's bad. Bad. All right, but that was us for sure. Prescott to Oliphant made it 20-14. to 23-21, Prescott found Vance. We actually took the lead early in the fourth quarter, 24-23, and then they scored with six minutes left. Not a bad game, almost 500 yards, but three interceptions. That's poor. Watt, 4.3 yards a carry. I could live with that. Anything north of four, I think I'd be okay. Three Cowboy receivers go over the century mark in yardage. That's pretty solid. And we are playing the Redskins again. Interesting. All right. Still out. Still some major injuries. All right. Home against Washington this week. 41-23. Uh, Sweet. Sweet. That feels so good. Prescott to Vance twice in the first quarter. A, goal, a field goal kicker battle in the second quarter. Gerald Watt with a receiving touchdown from Prescott. Ellsworth has a run. Uh, Jess Seeley, 98-yard kickoff return for us. And they got a late touchdown to make it a little respectable. 41-23, Prescott, 21 of 24. I like that. Yeah, do we give... Ellsworth and Watts. Little, one more strength. He's got more agility. He's got more speed. He's got better hands. You know what? Maybe we do do that. Maybe we put Ellsworth as our starter. Let's, uh, let's do that. Because the hands could be, you know, maybe that's something in our passing game. So Ellsworth and Watts, there we go. We'll save that. All right, we do have a couple of emails, some complainers, team news. All right, still nothing different here. Still have some guys. Uh, Pritchett is back to probable, so that's good. All right, we have uh, one more week. So week six, we do six weeks at a time. The last episode, we do the final six weeks plus the playoffs. Just a reminder. So this will end this episode uh, against Denver. Ah, narrow loss, narrow loss. Two points in the rain. Prescott to Oliphant. Ellsworth with a touchdown. Pick six for Denver. And a 102-yard kickoff return for Seeley, and we failed on the two-point conversion. Ow. 25 of 41, 366. Ellsworth, 4.4 yards a carry, and uh, four catches for 21 yards. So maybe that's the direction we need to go. Denmark, three kickoff returns. Seeley with another touchdown. That's awesome. My cousin, my nephew, Robert Pratt, 48.8 yards per punt. He's not, I mean, I have a nephew named Robert Pratt, but that's not this guy, obviously. Uh, so let's take a quick look and wrap up emails. There, team news. All right, Pritchett's back to full strength. Couple of weeks for these players before they come back. And uh, now the important part, where if I can find it, there it is right there, standings. All right, Packers and Bears at 4-2, and two, near a tight, tight race in the north. Saints 4-1 and one, leading the Falcons by two games. Cowboys at 4-2 and two with a one-game lead over the Eagles and Giants. And the Niners and Cardinals at 3-3. Three and three. Seahawks looking for their first win. 
Over in the AFC, Baltimore 5 and 1, controlling the North. Jags and Titans at 4 and 2. Patriots at 5 and 1 back atop the AFC East and the Oakland Raiders as they like to say, 5 and 1, two game lead over the Broncos. Uh, let's see, Dallas, number two in scoring offense, number three in yardage, number one in passing, and a distant number 29 out of 32 in rushing the ball. Uh, we do have the number five overall scoring defense, number three giving up yards, number three against the pass, and number 14 against the run. So teams performing well. Liking what's going on. 186 points for. 112 against. 3-1 and one at home. 1-1 one and one on the road. 4-1 and one in conference. 3-1 and one in the division. So we're off to a good start. Uh, so next episode will bring us weeks 7 through 12. Probably five games in there. We'll probably have our open week that week. Uh, don't forget, hit the like button. Leave a comment. Any comment will work. That'll register you for the free game giveaway. And we'll be pulling that on the night of Christmas Eve, December 24th of this year, 2019. So good luck to everybody that enters. I will be doing that on camera and we'll be doing it. Uh, we'll be doing that live on camera. So um, be ready for that. And uh, good luck, guys. Thanks for dropping in. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.